Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to Jen's Hangout. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Jen. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Today is, I don't remember what part, but declutter! We are on drawer number five. Yes, drawer number five. And Ryan's whining at the door because, you know, he thinks that he has to be outside at all times now. Anyway, let's get started. Um, I noticed in another video that I had forgotten to do the end count for you guys. I will have a total at the end of everything, so... You guys will get that. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure everything's in frame. Okay, so this is from Spoiled Cosmetics, the O Abbey palette. I adore this palette. I am not getting rid of this palette. It is not going anywhere. I do need to give it a lot more love, though. But it is so nice to use. So nice. I mean, everything just blends beautifully. So, that one is staying. And then I have the Passport palette. The Adventure Passport. Adventurous Passport palette from Lurella. Sadly, you can't get this from Lurella anymore. Which sucks so bad because it's such a good 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 palette i mean like this it looks brown on the screen but look at that shift i mean come on it's a really great palette and it's a grungy palette and you guys know i am a grungy girl so I got ink on me too, apparently. Anyway, um, this palette is from Sample Beauty, which you get uh, on Beauty Bay. And it has a really great mirror, but um, I mean, this is a wonderful palette. It only has like five shimmers, but that's okay because I have tons of shimmers. I have Super Shocks, you name it. But the mattes in this palette are really, really good. And I haven't used it that much. And I need to. And it's super affordable. Sorry for the bump. It's super affordable. I want to say it's like 20-ish dollars. Okay, so now I have these from Sugar Pill. It's all four of their capsule collection. Um, I think I want to get rid of, but I don't, because I just don't reach for these. Like, I think I want to get rid of this one. It is really, it, they're beautiful palettes. I just don't. I just don't reach for them. I don't know why. They're so cute. They have a little mirror here. But like this one, I'm just not going to use that many pastels. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This was, you know, like when I was in my I must have everything from that collection era. Which didn't last very long because... 
that's expensive. So that one's gonna go, put this over here. I don't know about this one. I think this one and the black one I would use, oh yeah, I would use this one, definitely. So this one will stay. And then this one, I think is a very, you can use these bigger ones as blushes as well. So, and this one I will keep because I mean, yes, I know it's only two colors, but I like the pinks too. So there's that. And these plastic containers they're in are just, this is the 10th anniversary edition. And while it is beautiful, and I would use all of those colors, I really would. We'll keep this one. For now, you see how it does in the next round of declutters. So we're just going to get rid of this one, which is the C1. Okay, now I have two Ofra palettes. This one is the Secret Garden palette. And as you can see, she's been loved very, very much. I do really like this palette. Um, the cool thing about the Ofra palettes is once this thing gets really grungy because it comes with cover, and I like their covers. But this is all foam, so it's bound to get dirty and gross. But the cool thing is you can pop all these out and put them in a Z palette. And then there's this one. This is the Free Spirit palette. Huge mirror. Um, the only thing I don't like about these palettes is that these bronzers are so super dark I mean like super duper duper dark so that's the only thing but they're full face palettes and you can get really nice looks out of them so I'm gonna keep these I haven't been doing very well on my declutter this round I'm not very brutal okay this is the up in the air palette by M -M Mitchell and it is very well packaged it comes in a foam case and then I still have the original box because that's what I do <laughs> and then the cover has a design which is nice this is a really pretty palette I need to use it more often I think I've only used it like two or three times um, these are some of the creamiest shimmers I think, honestly, I have ever used. They are so nice. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. So, I just need to use them. And I have it. I mean, look at that. The pigment is still there. So. He has two of these. Uh, you can get them on Beauty Bay. And then I don't know if his site. Because he's, he's British. And I don't know if his site sells them. I know, but I know you can get them on Beauty Bay. Um, and I want to say they're like 40-ish. They could be more. I don't remember. I bought this shortly after it came out. So. <laughs> and then this says Alien Cosmetics. Because I got it when it was Alien Cosmetics, not Unearthly. But she had to change her name to Unearthly Cosmetics. And this is the original, this is the original formula of the um, bunny palette. 
I want to say. I forget exactly. It was a collab she did. Um, but yeah, there's hop, carrot, tulip, jelly bean, chick, and ribbon. But here it is. And this is a really cool, fun palette to use. I use it in conjunction with a neutral palette to get a cohesive look. But, I mean, these are like cream to powders. Look at that, just tapping it. <laughs> These are, this one isn't. This one, I, this one isn't either, but it's still really pretty. And there's that one. This one is more of a creamy. I've run out of fingers. Poop. So, and then this one is really beautiful really pretty but this one is the shifter so but this one's not going anywhere i love this palette but you can get it now it's in a much more cohesive square pan palette instead as far as i know it's still on her website it was last time i looked <laughs> so okay now we're going to get into my Anastasia Beverly Hills collection, which I have a few. There again, this was from my completion era. I had number three and that one didn't make the last declutter. So to be honest, I haven't even used these since I did that declutter and look the paint is coming off wow and I have not pulled these out since that last declutter so these are all the pro palettes this is Norvina one and they're lettered and numbered instead so this is a beautiful palette I'm still gonna keep this one because I really do like the colors in this one even if it is shipping paint and it stays in the box so check your collection people that's frustrating okay then this is the Norvina 2 don't know I've only ever used this one one time um maybe twice but it has all of those greens in it. So I think I'll keep it at least for this round. I mean, this one to me screams 80s. Like I think when I look at this one, I think of going to the roller rink with, you know, screaming colored eyeshadow and blue mascara and aqua knitted bangs. Yes, I had the mall bangs. And I was very good at sporting them. This is Norvina number four. And as you can see, I played with her a lot more. <laughs> this is a really good palette. I don't like the glitters in it, but other than that, I like everything else. So again, she's not going anywhere. Okay, these ones are my smaller ones. My husband bought me this just last year, I want to say. Shortly before I did the declutter, he had bought me this. And this is the Subculture palette. And it is truly my quintessential palette. Even though it doesn't look like I have used it, I have used it. I need to use it more. Thinking about doing something different with my project pan with the eyeshadow palettes so I can rotate in more. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. And to me, this is a staple palette. If you want a good five minute look that's going to be banging, this is the palette. As you can see, she is very well loved. I mean, <laughs> yes. 
So, but I'm serious when it comes to the five minute looks. If you need a good look to walk out the door quickly, this is your, this is your palette. That's your girl. She's a good one. We'll do this one. This is the Amorizi palette. As you can see, she's also very well loved in the shimmer department. You got to kind of dig into Anastasia shimmers because they are very soft shimmers. Like that one's more of a topper. But, I mean, they're very soft, but they're very pigmented, and they're very nice. See? They're very nice. So, this one's not going anywhere. Either. Now, the Riviera palette has been discontinued as far as I know. Um, I see it every once in a while on Beautylish, but that doesn't mean anything. This is a really bright, fun palette, and I haven't used it very much. So, honestly, I think I'm going to let this one go. She hasn't been used very much. And, like, if at all, have I even used it? I think I used it once. That white is really nice, though. But I have palettes with good whites. So, yeah, I think I'm going to let this one go. So, there's that one. Okay, then I have... My one and only, I pray I didn't just make a big mess, uh, Makeup a Murderer. This is an indie brand. I have several of her bottle pigments that I really, really like. They're the neon glow-in-the-dark pigments. Um, but this is my only palette from them. They have a couple. I decluttered the rest of mine. This shattered when it came, so it's always been a mess. But this is a really beautiful palette. So, I'm not going to get rid of it yet. But I do need to show it love. But this is their uh, partner in crime. And I think it's still on their website. Pretty sure it is. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm going to show you my milk palette. Okay, you guys already know that the... Sorry about that. I keep banging that thing. Um, I have the Memorosa, Memorosa, I think that's how you say it. Um, this one by Melt. This is in my Project Pan. And she's gorgeous. I do recommend using, this is a good formula. So, that one's staying, obviously. I have the Complete sugar skull there she is the vida and the morte they really my fingernail just came out rude um they're not going anywhere ever so there's the vida i wish they'd bring this one back so you guys can complete your sets they brought the morte back which was awesome because I was not going to pay $300 that they wanted on Macari for this thing. Silly. But there's the Morte palette. Just as stunning. And if you guys watch my videos, you guys see these behind me all the time. So yeah, these aren't going anywhere. I love them. This is the Brunette palette. And honestly, this has become my staple brown palette. She is, if you need a good formula neutral palette with some pops of shimmer, this is your palette. It's really a good palette. It really is. It's uncharacteristically melt, but um, because usually they're all bright colors and stuff. But this one, that one's a gorgeous one. This one is the Radioactive. This one is no longer available. But she's fun. She's all shimmers. And, well, no, I think there's two mattes. Three mattes. Is this a matte? 
Oh, no, this is matte. So four mattes. So radioactive, radon, xenon, and meltdown are all mattes. And fantastic formula. So if you find it, I think I paid like 10 bucks for this one and that one. 10 or 14 bucks on uh makari so keep your eyes open this is the smoke sessions <laughs> can we say anymore do you get any more me i mean sheesh. yes please send those down that arm they are gorgeous okay so and they're not going anywhere obviously um i have to get into the next drawer for the next video because that's it this is a this was a small drawer this is like my i keep it close because if i want a really good quick look i grab one of these palettes but we have two palettes we're getting rid of out of this bunch and we are keeping oh i have one more palette one no two more sorry because these are my oddball palettes that don't actually sit anywhere they sit on the shelf so okay hold the phone this one my husband bought me for my birthday right after I started my channel and this is I did a whole dupes versus um, counterfeit with this palette because there are many counterfeit palettes of this this is the Game of Thrones palette by Urban Decay she opens up like this and has the Iron Throne we are huge 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 Game of Thrones fans we just rewatched the whole series but this is what it looks like I've used it a couple times but it's more for display than anything else so obviously it's not really anywhere and I'll show you the oddball ones that I haven't used yet from my basket of need to use. And then this is my pricked palette from Jeffree Star. I hate the unicorn in carton. In fact, I think I'm going to get rid of it. Because it's annoying. But it's kind of in a purse set up like this. And then I need to use it more because I really do like the color story. The color saver is a pain in the butt to get off. But there you go. It's oranges and browns. And I mean, it's a very fallish look, but it's still a very me kind of palette. So have you noticed Jeffree Star's? Palettes are very similar to color pops in that they are very one note. Just a thought there. Okay, I have all these palettes over here that I haven't used much of or haven't had a chance to use at all yet. Okay, so I have this one. It's Belle. I don't know if I showed you guys this one. I think I kept it. I got this one. I want to say in an ice cream beauty bag. Or box. But it came shattered. That bottom one. So. I'm, I'm going to. I need to use it. It's got some good colors in it. And uh. So. She's just been chilling. Back here. Because I, <laughs> I seriously don't want to put it in one of my drawers and have it get lost and um, the color you know get ruined okay I bought these two off of Macari I got a really good deal on them this is the I forgot to add these to my melts oh my gosh and this one because this is the fatally yours by um melts and bailey series i forgot so i'll show you this one first 
because this one I got with the launch. This is an all matte palette. It's beautiful. I mean, there you go. So if you don't have this, you can get it on their website right now. And then the screen thing. The flavor saver is very cool. So I haven't put her away yet because I've only used her once. And I really, really, really want to use it again before I put it away. Okay, so this is the Gemini 1 and Gemini 2. This is the Gemini 1. Beautiful. Gemini 2. Even more beautiful. This has the rose tones and the really grungy greens. So, that's those two. Then I have this, which I got in... The ColourPop mystery box that I got. This is Lush Life by ColourPop. Obviously, very cute. So I haven't had a chance to use this one yet. So she's not going nowhere. So very cute. Very cute. Then this one I just got in the Slay Glam box. This is the snow globe with um, St. Angel's Sinners and just and. So I haven't even had a chance to use that one yet either. I need to. These two I got from Clarity Cosmetics. Um, they had some scavenger hunts where you just find whatever palette uh, doesn't have a is listed at zero dollars and then you pay shipping both came broken this one and this one came broken in this palette this one half of the palette is shattered um, and it was a horrid mess as you can see so I haven't used these ones yet I don't know what to do with this one if it's salvageable. This one, uh, if I don't put it in a drawer, I think it'll be alright. So I don't recommend getting anything from that company because the shipping is garbage. I mean, their customer service was fine. It really was, but the shipping's garbage. This is the Sumerian Sunset by Adept Cosmetics. I mean, <laughs> I've used her several times already. Can you tell which one I'm pulling for? This is gorgeous. I love it. And if you are a Star Trek fan, you know. Um, this is a palette that I got from my beautiful friend Joe last year for Christmas. And I've used it a couple times. It doesn't look like I've used it, but I have. I mean, there you can see. But it has a crack in the mirror, so I don't put it in a drawer. And then this one, I just got her in my lucky bag from Beautylish. And I just used it the other day for the first time. It was so beautiful beautiful but it's like all different finishes this is the um, light work volume 5 palette I can see why it probably didn't sell really well for them because it is an all shimmer of a different finish palette set up so anyway so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Thirty-five we're keeping, and two we're ditching. So, thirty-five we're keeping, two we're ditching. Thirty-five, thirty-five, we're keeping, two we're ditching. All right. 
So we'll have a drawer number four in the next video. So thank you for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.